This month we're in Norfolk with the Capriolus Club at one of this county's impressive stately homes. With the first of two stalks planned, the small party of hunters ready themselves for the stalk ahead. With this part of the world being renowned for high numbers of muntjac, it's to this diminutive little deer that I turn my attentions, and it's within just a few minutes that I spot my first animal. With no shooting sticks to hand, I resort to a kneeling shot to dispatch the first of four muntjac. A quick eye blink test and then the animal is bled to preserve the venison. Munchak are an Asiatic species of deer first introduced to the UK by the Duke of Bedford in the 1950s. They display primitive characteristics including prominent tusks and simple antlers extending from long pedicles. The male is also identifiable from a very visible dark V on its forehead. Both sexes also exhibit paddle-like tails with a white underside. Not my best shot ever, but nonetheless it did the job and I hang my first beast up ready for collection later before heading to a high seat. This part of Norfolk not only presents some unusual countryside, but it's also home to four of the UK's six species of deer, including red, fallow, roe and of course munchak. just 10 minutes later and I spot a second buck. I have to express some pride with my next shot, with my buck rapidly disappearing down the ride away from me. I have only a split second to dispatch it at 220 yards just before it vanishes into the wood line. It's number two of the evening, and number three is only 15 minutes later. With three terrific bucks, it's been a great first evening. Feeling a little overserved from drinks with the guys the night before, I'm up early for round two. For this trip, I'm using my trustworthy Seiko 85 in, you guessed it, 308 calibre. It's a big calibre for Muntis, but with the possibilities of also seeing reds on this ground, it's a great all-rounder. And so it proves to be. One hour in, a Munchak Doe appears. Struggling this month with both rifle and camera, in the absence of Ewan, our cameraman, who's been hijacked by the BBC, I fail to get onto this one in time before she vanishes into the wood. Fortunately, however, I'm relieved when another doe appears only to chance her luck by crossing the ride in front of me. Halfway across, I stop her with a whistle, and it's number four. This little deer doesn't take much putting down, 
Nonetheless, you can never be too sure, and so I carry out the eye blink test as usual. The 308 is a big calibre for Munchak, and yet, as is typical of expanding ammunition, the entry wound is small. The exit wound, however, is somewhat bigger, with the 150 grain bullet expanding rapidly as it passes through the chest cavity. Unlike the buck, those do not have antlers, and as well as being considerably smaller, also exhibit a large black diamond shape on their forehead. It's been a great morning in the Norfolk countryside and Sam arrives to collect me in the Land Rover before we head back to see how the rest of the team have fared. With all four species, roe, fallow, munchak and red having been accounted for, it's been a productive trip. And we return to our hotel for a well-earned breakfast. If you'd like to join the Capriolas Club then visit www cabriodasclub.co.uk forward slash apply now or call us on 0208 239 7311 alternatively if you'd like to head out in search of Munjack call 01403 790 or email my colleague James Mott at countydeerstalking.co.uk